What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon opening. We are opening, in my opinion, the hottest product that has come out in I don't even know since when. Uh, that is the Reshi Ram Charizard. I imagine it's premium something, but basically it's a collection box featuring Reshizard. You get the alternate art, which looks absolutely amazing. Um, I am. I think this product is so good. I highly, highly recommend you get it. And um, if you did pre-order it, like, you know, shout outs to you. I feel like you saved a lot of money. Uh, the reason I think this product is so great is it comes with Reshizard. Like, I feel like that alone, um, actually, I took a look at TCG Player. This, the card, the promo card is going, just for the card alone, it's going for like $14 as like the lowest price that you can get it at. Um, so that says a lot right there. I think even retail, that's almost half the price of the box. And then it does come with four boosters and jumbo and a pretty, like as far as figures go, I think it's the best figure I've ever seen. It's like twice the size as other ones too. So, um, and you know, with Unified Minds just coming out, I feel like the set is good. I think there's a lot of cards that change up the meta. It's pretty good, but like nothing crazy. I feel like Unbroken Bonds was a step as far as like the cards in there, especially collector's point of view. Uh, Mew Mewtwo, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it stacks up, but I don't think it'll stand, uh, hold a candle to the Rainbow Reshizard. Uh, but they did, like this has two packs of that as well. I think it has an Unbroken Bonds, and then yeah, sure, some random XY. At least it's different, we have Roaring Skies this time. Uh, so we're gonna crack open to one of these. I'll continue to ramble about it, and we have additionally three more packs of Unified Minds. Um, all right, let's get into it. All right, so I snapped my fingers, but uh, still need to open the product first. So we're gonna do that real quick. But uh, yeah, I think this thing is absolutely amazing. Oh, all right, look at that. It, they did it right, so we should not damage the card when we take it out. Whoa. Ooh, there's a good amount of texture. That's my biggest complaint these days is I feel like there's texture is becoming less and less. But this is pretty good and oh my gosh, look at that art. Uh, in my opinion, the I love this alternate art. And then, look at this figure. So much detail, so huge. Uh, that is the best figure that I can think of off the top of my head. The only thing I've heard is like, the way it sits is kind of strange, which I think is true. He kind of looks kind of far down. Like if it was more like that, I feel like that would be a little bit better. But A++ for the promo, A++ for the figure. Jumbo card, um, I guess A, I mean it's the same. The jumbo is the jumbo. The pack selection, A++ again, two unbroken bonds. Always they have two of the latest. One most recent and then one XY. So actually, we'll give it an A. Uh, I think we're never gonna get away from the XY or whatever, like older stuff like that. But obviously, there's still room to improve. And all right, let's get right into it. So I think retail. I think I saw this at Target. I think it was like 30, 32 or something like that. So. If you pay, pay full retail, like, alright, maybe just get one to have the promo. Maybe it's not entirely worth it, but pre-order prices, so like, I, I talk about Game Nerds a lot, uh, which I think they're really good. I Obviously, it took me a while to get the product, I just got it today, but I think those were like only like 20 something dollars, so it's quite a good deal in my opinion. So, let's go into our first pack, Rolling Skies, Ultra Ball, very good card, Latio Spirit Link. Special energy, double dragon energy. I'm not familiar with this one. Execute. Oh wow, that's a cool art. The Spearhouse is trying to get to them. Togepi. Inke. A Wingle. Howlucha. Ooh, Shredinja for a reverse. And then we have, all oh, right, we do got a EX. So even the pulls are doing pretty good on this set. We got a Hydrogen EX. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this card. Pretty cool. So everything is going right with this box so far. All right, let's move on to the unbroken bonds. So yeah, you know, I feel like Unified Minds is good, but like not great. And I feel like this will set will kind of come and go pretty quickly. The one thing I obviously the the the, the, ah, the super positive part is the pull rates. Um, I think the consensus is they're much better than unbroken bonds. 
but if I had to guess, I think if we fast forward into the future, I think Unbroken Bonds will be a more famous set than Unified Minds by a significant margin as well. All right, let's see, we got a Melton Spiro, Lickitung, Hitmon Top. I never put together this deck, but it is pretty cool. Running um, Picaram, this thing owned me many times. And then we just have the Suicidal Ghost, Miss Magus. Kind of an interesting card, especially with the Dust Stone, but eh, it's not that good. All right, on to Unified Minds. Our Tortuga count is three, which, you know, opening, we're getting close to have opened two boxes at this point. Not that impressed with our Tortuga count and the reverse. You'll hear me saying this a lot. Um, you know, pick, pick a common, uncommon, or even a rare, and then like, you know, I feel like reverses these days, they're, they're cool. People acknowledge them, but they're not that sought after but then when you actually try to pull a specific one my gosh that is difficult to do so obviously the one we're going for is that tortuga and we're gonna see how long it takes for us to get it we got a riolu so this is an uncommon or no common and then we have a medichan if we look at this pure power put four damage kind on your opponent pokemon whoa that's pretty cool pure power and then master strike 60 plus if this pokemon has a karate belt attached to it 60 more that part's a little underwhelming, but the pure power, that's a cool way to just, um, you know, clean up shop on your opponent if you're able to get them low. Only one energy. If only, if it didn't evolve, I feel like that, that would, a uh, lot of potential there, but for a card you have to evolve, yeah, we'll give it a B. Alright, on to pack number two. So, it'd be awesome if we can get two hits from this single collection box. We got Cresselia. Cherish Ball, very good card. Oh, I thought we pulled the Cherish Ball, in, uh, but we actually got something different. <laughs> we got a Mana. Pikachu, as far as Pikachu arts, this one's just okay. We got a Lickitung, Purloin, another Riolu. Come on, we're never going to get this Tortuga if all we pull is Riolus. And then an Executor, we got Mind Bend, and then Full Clean. This, oof, that's terrible. <laughs> Not sure what the deal, what the thing with that card. So um, that's it for that collection box, guys. A plus plus. That is so good. Definitely go at least get at least one of them. I'm trying to think of a collection box that had par an unparalleled value. Actually, if we kind of look at the P the Picaram is actually a pretty good comparison. You know, they, it was the alternate art for for a meta meta viable card. Came a little bit later after the set. Came with four packs. Came with the the tin instead of the jumbo card and figurine, and, and it was cheaper. So actually, that's a pretty good um, comparison. I am much more excited for the rushes art though. All right, we got an onyx and then a gibble. So another common, just on just common so far, and then a zergatree regular rare. So Unified Minds, despite the better pull rates, this at least this opening, we're not doing so hot. But we got two more packs to see if we can't turn it up. So as a regular reminder to you all, uh, if you do enjoy this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It really does help the channel grow and reach new viewers. So definitely hit that button. And if you're not already a sub, and according to YouTube Analytics, a uh, majority of people are not subs, so if you're not already a sub, uh, do me a favor, hit that uh, sub button, bell for notifications, and you'll basically get notified every day, multiple times, whenever we post a video. So let's see, we got a Magnemite. Oh, this is interesting. He's chilling by the landfill. A Pidove. That's a very vanilla Pokemon if I've ever seen one. And then we have... Oh man, another just regular rare. Boom Bust. 20 damage to each year. Oh, I do like that card. It's like the Tapu Coco's something flip or something like that. All right, last pack. While we did get a hit, it was from the XY era, and it wasn't a full art or anything. So, you know, kind of um, lackluster in my opinion. So let's get one more hit right here. Some last pack magic. We got a Dragonair. Basculin. Misty's Favor. Curious to see how this card does if it's used in the meta. Tratini, Fungus, Hone Edge, Sneasel, 
Magnemite. A Mesprit. So we did get an uncommon, just not the right one. Okay, well, at least we got a foil. We got a Serena. Queenly reward. Once during your turn, you may attach a relief energy from your discard pile. Ooh, any kind of ramp I am a big fan of. Stage 2 though, uh, then high jump kick, not into bat, like all it is is that ability. High jump kick is super weak in my opinion, so for stage 2, good ability, but not strong enough. But hey, you know, people have made stranger things work in the meta. So, we did get one hit, but it was from the XY era, Hydrogen EX, but so, definitely the big prize was, and we didn't get any Tortugas. Um, definitely this Reshi's art, alternate art. Man, it looks so good, and uh, I imagine that the if you're trying to put together a Reshizar deck, I am pretty sure the code card will give you one, so that's another added bonus. And uh, so I highly, highly recommend it. This uh, box, get at least one, and uh, kudos to you if you pre-ordered it. You saved a lot of money that way. And promo itself, $14. <laughs> that's crazy on TCG Player, which means if you were to buy it on like Troll and Toad or something like that, it'll probably be like 15 16 So uh, a lot of value there. Um, and that's it for today's video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.